Today, the nation lost an inspirational figure, a woman who overcame public and private adversity to communicate a gospel of resilience, as her last book was called. The daughter of a Navy pilot, she was born in Florida 61 years ago, went to law school and met the younger man who would change her life. And tonight, my co-anchor Cynthia McFadden remembers Elizabeth Edwards. The cancer had returned. Uh, it was malignant. This was the moment America really saw what Elizabeth Edwards was made of. We're going to always look for the silver lining. It is who we are as people. It was March 2007, standing next to her husband John, taking a break from his presidential run to announce the worst kind of news. Her breast cancer, first diagnosed three years earlier, had returned. But John and Elizabeth vowed to continue the grueling campaign, knowing that sooner or later the illness would take her life, as she told me right after her cancer reoccurred. It's not a question of just surviving or dying. There's an in-between, too. There's living with cancer. And, Am I shooting? Are you stopping it? And those of us living with cancer want full lives. And look, we can have them. <laughs> In the months that followed, Elizabeth Edwards achieved an almost iconic status for her stoic grace up against a brutal schedule. Her enormous popularity, a huge boon to her husband's political hopes. At the time, the choice was controversial. Was John being fair to her by staying in the race? Was their determination mutual? We're glad to be back, and I'm glad to introduce you to John Edwards. Was it the right thing for the family? You have two little kids who you know right. you're not going to be seeing as much as you would if you were not in the process of running for president. Honestly, a lot of the discussions that we have had since the diagnosis were, is, a, is a continuation of a conversation that we started when we were deciding to run. It's, you know, we, we didn't just think, oh, oh yeah, you know, we might not see the children a lot, and it, it occurs to us now. It occurred to us then. But Elizabeth Edwards was a fighter. In fact, some might say her life was a master class on overcoming adversity. She met her famously handsome and charismatic husband, John, when they were both law students at the University of North Carolina. While he went on to become a renowned trial attorney, she built a successful law career in her own right. They had two children, daughter Kate and son Wade. But then, in 1996, their boy died in a freak car accident. Wade was just 16. We made a, a decision when Wade died about how we wanted to spend the rest of our lives. And when we made that decision, it was facing our mortality. People think now, well, you're facing your mortality. How could you make this choice? And I say, we didn't make this choice in 2007. We made this choice in 1997. Kate Edwards, now 28, joined us for our interview. I want to read you something from your mother's book and get your reaction about your role in the family. She writes... Kate busied herself with making our lives easier, caring for John and me. Could she bring us dinner? Did we want to play a game? Want to walk down to the creek? How many times then and now I have thought of the line from Isaiah, and the little child shall lead them. For we were led by Kate, reminded of joy by Kate, and blessed with Kate. Well, I mean, I think <laughs> that's entirely too generous, but um, <laughs> see what I mean. Spurred on by their son's tragic death, John Edwards ran for the Senate. And in a meteoric rise by 2004 was chosen as John Kerry's running mate for president. By now they had two young children, Emma Claire and Jack. We didn't start fighting for you when this campaign began and we won't stop fighting for you when this campaign ends. The day they lost, they learned Elizabeth had breast cancer. Now, I'm a mother, and so the first thing that I thought about was our children. I have a six-year-old, and if the prognosis is 10 years, then I don't see him graduate from high school. But she didn't make it 10 years. She made it only four. The younger children, now 12 and 10. But listen to her determination to fight, fight, fight. The statistics do tell us something. It tells us the probabilities right now in this moment. And what they say is, five years out... 20% survival rate. They don't actually say that. The American Cancer Society has tried to come back and stop people from saying that because it's, that is not applicable uh, to my situation. My job is to stay alive long enough for the medicine to outrun me. And I'm not going to be either unnecessarily buoyed or unnecessarily depressed by someone else's experience. I have my own fight to fight. And as a family, at the end of this, 
success will look like what? Uh, closer together, loving each other, and Elizabeth as healthy as she can be. Can't argue with that. But sadly, as the nation saw in spectacularly public detail, that would not come to pass. Just a few months after we sat down with her, rumors of John Edwards' infidelity were simmering and would eventually boil over into a scandal the likes of which hasn't been seen in years. Pictures surfaced of Edwards holding a child, believed to be his daughter with a former campaign staffer. In 2008, John Edwards sat down with my colleague Bob Woodruff for Nightline. Let me ask you the question. Did you have an affair with Miss Hunter? In 2006, two years ago, uh, I made a very serious mistake. A uh, mistake that I am responsible for and no one else. Uh, I, in 2006, told Elizabeth about the mistake, asked her for her forgiveness, asked God for, for his forgiveness. Were you in love with her? I'm in love with one woman. <laughs> I've been in love with one woman for 31 years. And uh, she is the finest human being I have ever known. And the fact that she is with me after this having happened is a testament to the kind of woman and kind of human being she is. There is a, a deep and abiding love that exists between Elizabeth and myself. How could you have done this? First of all, it happened during a period after she was in remission from cancer. There's no excuse in any possible way for what happened. Though Edwards admitted to the affair, he swore the baby was not his. Does Elizabeth think this is possibly your baby? No, of course not. No way? No. She knows it's not. How does she know, though? The same reason I know, because it's not possible. But that would turn out to be a lie. Last year, Edwards admitted he was, in fact, the father. His political career over, he and Elizabeth formally separated. The image of the perfect political partnership shattered forever. But in the end, Elizabeth Edwards would not let the dark days of her marriage define her. She wrote another book, fittingly called Resilience, and became a passionate advocate for cancer survivors and health care for all. Senator McCain and I have something in common, and that is neither one of us would be insured under his health care plan. She died today at home at age 61, surrounded by her friends, her children, and even John, still her husband. But tonight it is Kate, once the little child who led her mother out of grief, who must now be there to lead her family forward. What would you want her to see her do? All I care about her being is happy. Um, if something happens to me, honestly, if something happens to John and to me, uh, you know, under our wills, she, <laughs> she has two kids. <laughs> it actually gives me great confidence as I go through this to know that standing behind John and, behi and behind me with respect to Emma, Claire, and Jack is this splendid woman.